guys, it's Game Raymer here, and it has been a minute since we traveled around the world together. So, these items that you're about to see, I cannot believe that I almost missed these items. So when I traveled to Detroit, Michigan for the Detroit Retro Video Game Show, these two items I found within the last, like, 20 minutes of the show. <laughs> Now, as I was going around this entire convention, I was really wondering what was going to stand out when it came to Detroit. So, I'm here to take you on my little journey, and we can, you know, figure out together if this trip was worth it. So, let's go ahead and check these items out. So together we have went around <laughs> so many different states and we have found so many cool items, whether it's banners, store displays, you know, different kiosks, different lights, a whole Mario Kart, and just so much more when it comes to, you know, these amazing finds. What I'm really trying to see is which area has some of the best video game items. Now I'm not talking about those items that you could just go right into Walmart and purchase. These have to be something that have some sort of meaning or value or something to me. This whole nostalgia factor, something that typically wouldn't be for sale back in the day. Some of these items are like, you know, store displays and signage that you just could not get a hold of. Well, these actually lived in this box here. And Debbie was the one who actually brought this to this amazing toy store. So. This toy store, Time Blaster Toys, they are so awesome. And I just still cannot believe that they really worked out such an amazing deal on both of these items that you're about to see. <laughs> now, we all know that I love Mortal Kombat and I love store displays. So <laughs> what was I able to score? <laughs> so this right here, <laughs> I actually picked a couple of these up already when I went to Pennsylvania, but I do not have this one right here. We have this Mortal Kombat 3 for Mortal Friday, October 13th, 1995 for the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, and it even says coming soon on Game Boys and Game Gear. <laughs> so this is such a beautiful store display banner. You cannot like go wrong when it comes to these awesome displays and I still can't believe that I was able to score this and another one for such an amazing deal. Now they even come with the little wooden dowels as well. So what you would do is put a wooden dowel right here and then at the bottom so that it holds just a little bit of weight because these are super light, they're super flimsy, but these are like this whole vinyl material. So this is so cool that they were able to you know, make a deal on both of these items for me. But yeah, so here are the little wooden nails that would just go in the top and bottom parts of the banner. You can pretty much find anything, you know, if you find these banners without them, you could substitute pretty much anything in there. Now this one I was really excited for because I had not seen this one before. So <laughs> this one is super cool if you guys can already guess by like the colors of it. <laughs> so here we have another vinyl banner and this one is of course doom for the super nintendo nothing can save you doomsday september 1st 1995 so this is another beautiful vinyl banner definitely really cool to see this with like this orange coloring just really awesome. You just don't see these displays every single day. And to have another one in the video game collection, you cannot beat that. So overall, I would have to say that my trip out to Detroit, Michigan was definitely worthwhile because I was able to score a couple of these vinyl banners, add them into the collection. And this is just super cool because you don't see these things like every single day. And when you do, you definitely have to appreciate them. You have to pick them up and add them into a video game collection. So what do you guys think about both of these two? Would you have picked up the Mortal Kombat, the Doom? Would you have tried to score both of them? And once again, thank you guys so much over at Time Blaster Toys 
you have to check out their socials as they get some really cool items they even had like a dreamcast tabletop version of that amazing kiosk but because i already had two i did not need another one to come home with me so instead i picked up these awesome banners but let me know what you guys think about these from the 90s and would you have picked them up and do you think that this trip was worth it let me know in the comments below and of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out all of my other videos and stay tuned for more mm -hmm.